What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to do a shrine quest to uncover the Sisuran Shrine. And uh, what we need to do, we need to come over to the Heber Mountains and uh, start off the shrine and then you'll see that the crystal is missing. I'll show you exactly where this uh, shrine is located and uh, what you need to do in order to um, get the shrine. So the name of the shrine quest is the North Heber Mountains Crystal. So as you can see the beam is going towards that uh, mount of, uh, uh, of ice there, like iceberg there. And uh, we need to go and um, get the crystal. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a regular or a member, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Right, this is the location where we need to be at. And we're going to need to uh, just collect that crystal over there. But soon enough, you'll find out that it's not just the crystal something else is attached there and it took me a little bit of time because I didn't have any um, any fire uh, kind of like uh, items that I could uh, fuse with my bow so I uh, I was trying everything I don't think this is gonna work I just tried absolutely everything nothing nothing is uh, working so what I decided to do is waking up now the talus the frost talus is waking up I decided to create a fire and if you're sure of, of um, items that, that burn you can always get like a flint and uh, um, and wood and uh, create a fire and then you can light your arrows as you um, as, as you see I'm me doing it here uh, but any hit from that uh, from that talus will freeze you in place and that becomes a really big problem as you can see one hit it took all those hearts and it's hard to escape because um it, you're in snow so it's it's really difficult to run really fast you know so i did have some trouble in here i did manage to complete it but it took me a lot longer than than it should have if taken but i managed to go on top of it a couple of times and um and kind of like I, I wish I had like a fire arrow because this would be a piece of cake as you can see I'm trying to use my stamina and just as much as I'm about to hit uh, he kicks me off so uh, and shoots one of those arms at me I it's just it was pretty um, annoying but as you possible you know as quickly as you as quickly as you possibly can just to get rid of the, that ice and try to climb on one of his arms and right to the top and choose your best weapon to hit this crystal because the more the stronger the weapon is the more damage you're going to be doing because this one wasn't doing anything you know like very very little but as you can see i choose a, a stronger weapon later on like uh the 31 here and uh, you'll see that it's going to do a lot more damage look at that but it does kick you off quite a bit and you know it's just a really really um challenging um talus I, I don't like these ones I prefer to have like the normal ones but these ones are a little bit harder and um, the fire ones are hard as well I don't I don't like doing them as you can see look how much damage I'm dealing it's just like you can you can really dig into that crystal if you get a really strong weapon and just keep on like every time it freezes or it throws that that at you you know you just have to eat look I've got almost no food so I was a uh, I was struggling, struggling a little bit in, in terms of uh, get a look at that. It is just so quick. Now he's going to go down. So I'll hopefully I'll be able to just go back up, uh, and I didn't. And I, he just touched me, and now I'm, I'm struggling, really struggling. But th there you go. You just uh, as you got the opportunity, you just have to just keep on doing it. You know, repeat, rinse, repeat, sort of thing. It's one of those things that you just have to keep at it and try to do, you know, as much damage as possible. But it is difficult. It drops a lot of sapphires and opals. So, or pick up all of this stuff. And he also drops this thing in here that you can, that you can pick up with your um, Ultra Hand. I really don't know what that is. I was wondering, you know, if you guys know, just drop me a comment down below and let me know. Uh, exactly what it is and what it's good for I just don't don't understand it looks like a shell but you obviously can't take it with you can't put it on your inventory uh, and uh, I don't see a way of using it around here so uh, I assume that 
it's just something that it drops I have no idea uh, but as soon as you do that all you need to do then is just put the crystal on the kind of like the the pedestal where it goes into or like the kind of like the ring that goes into and uh, that will bring the crystal uh, out of the the top it morph the crystal into into its frame and then all you need to do is go inside and pick up what's inside of the chest so there is really nothing else to do because uh, the the quest is the shrine quest not the chest itself the chest is just the reward so you just have to go inside and pick up what's inside the chest and uh, and um, that's it collect your light of blessing and uh, you're done so I guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this if you would like to know how I make my YouTube videos how I edit our voiceover how I prepare everything before it goes live like this uh, you can become a member and there's a series of videos that I'm re that I've recorded and I am recording still uh, and uh, they will explain exactly how I do or how I work with screenshots how I work with uh, thumbnails and things like that so it's uh, it's quite interesting if you're into that sort of thing it might be a good resource for you if you're planning on editing video or your own personal videos or if you're planning on doing something with video and audio and um, uh, I think it's uh, you know the way that I do things is different than everybody else does things you know you just adopt your way of doing it but it's nice to have the skills to do it so I guess this is it guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next one goodbye